Christmas way, darkness falls and we all pray, hoping for the light of day, down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man, down to the river, down to the river. All right, got a deer with a bow. First one in about 20 some years for me. Hunter got his buck early in the year. I came out here the other day for hogs with the rifle and the thermal and I seen 17 doe out in the field. Just bunched up right here on a neighboring field. I came over, deer hunted it one evening and I seen 13 doe together. Just the doe are bunching up right now. And I figured I'd see a buck that night, nothing that night. I even waited a little bit after dark just to see if a buck would come through and be on them. Nothing, just a, a, a big group of doe. So there's too many doe on this property right here. So I figured I'd come in and, and thin them out if I could get a nice shot and nice video. So what I did, I have a pinch point here on this ridge. So I got the top of the ridge here, probably about 50 yards from me. Right in front of me, we're gonna flip you around. There is gonna be an old road, old road bed. And it, and it stays up to the, close to the top of the ridge, but after this drainage, it shoots down and it gets wider. So right here, I'm pinching them, just like men up in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, I used to hunt them in Maryland. Pinch them between the drainage and the top of that ridge, and, and you, got them, you got a 50 yard shot, 25 yard shot up, 25 yard shot down, and you cover that whole area. So I came in here this morning, right on this pinch point, and I was getting some good pictures on camera here, just large groups of doe. Walking in, my camera was telling me there was one doe in here, so what I did, what I do in situations like this, when there's not a lot of them, there's only one, I came down here making a lot of hog noises. So I'm walking fast, I'm breaking branches, I'm snorting like a hog, push that deer off like a hog does, and they normally come back within an hour. Got in my blind. Love hunting in a blind. I want to get into saddle. We're going to we're going to have a combination of in the blinds and in the saddle because in the saddle I could get to where I could have shot that first doe in the morning. So doe came back, that doe came back, but she didn't come up the road. She went up to the top of the ridge and I would have had a better setup if I'd have been up in the saddle there, 25 yards from the top of the ridge, 25 yards from the road, I could have taken either shot. But I love to get in that blind sometimes. I just like to get in there and sit. Windy day, you could tell the leaves are falling. It's just, I like to get in there in case it's gonna rain. I always have, have a few blinds to set up, but that saddle's gonna be key down the road for us to move around. I set up in here, that first doe went up past me, and I just waited, waited about an hour, an hour and a half, and then two come up right up the ditch, and then another one, and then another one, and I had nine deer all within bow range. We'll have video up here, I got about 30 minutes of video. Now, I had my good camera, my good Canon camera, on recording and I had my iPhone on top because I like the slow-mo feature on it. I hit slow-mo on there. Get about 30, 30 minutes of video and I look and my Canon shuts off, the battery had died. I can't switch it so what I do is I totally rely on the iPhone for the kill shot but I put it on slow motion and you got a great kill shot on this. On this side of me, we got an old logging road that comes right here. What I used to do up West Virginia all the time when I used to hunt West Virginia, and I got a drainage that starts right here. So there's a drop off right here that goes the whole way down to the creek. Now this is a great spot that I love because it pinches those deer in between this drainage and the top of that ridge. So if I get in a saddle up in here, I could shoot up to the top and to the bottom. I just chose to put a blind here we'll do a video up there just on some horizontal there was some horizontal blow down some cover i put a blind up there and within a day they were walking by here on my camera so i brought a camera back here i just knew through pat the past that i could throw a camera up here and see and those deer were traveling right on this right in here feeding all day this shady cover lets them come in here these does come in here all day bed down i kicked them out of the beds right here before so 
The doe was about here, about 25 yards away. We'll go down here. I could actually see my arrow from right here where it was standing. I could see my arrow and I looked down farther down the ditch and I could see the doe already. All right, we got the start of blood right there. And that deer jumped over this. If you look in the video, he jumped, jumped right over this. And then we start to hit this drainage. My arrow down here a little bit ago. There's my arrow right there. I can see the luminock. I think I can see right there. Let's see. Right down past that sunlight. I can see the belly of the deer right there. All right, quick recovery on this one, maybe 50 yards down the hill, if that. Another one down here in South Carolina. Got the bow out, gonna be looking forward to hogs after deer season. Maybe take a couple more doe here or there on properties where we got a lot of them. Get Hunter on a doe, more practice with the bow. Get out there and get the rust off, right? But look for them pinch points, man. I'm gonna be heading to West Virginia next week on some uh, state game lands or some national forest is what exactly what I'm gonna look for. That drainage that comes up, pinches that close to that top of that ridge, get that funnel going through there and hopefully we can get up there in Pennsylvania and I'm gonna hunt West Virginia this year for the first time and again, 20 some years I haven't been up in West Virginia. Gonna hunt those every week of Thanksgiving next couple years and see if we can't get some other kills in some other states i know there's not as much game man because i know my cameras i got cameras running up in pennsylvania right now and i get in a day more than i get in pennsylvania in a year so it's a little tougher up there I'm gonna go up there and try it stay tuned for more 2023